Can you video edit on a Pi 400? Let's talk about it right after this. In my Pi 400 daily driver video, I mentioned that video editing on the Pi 400 was not the best. So let's talk about that. So here we're opening up Kden Live, which I have installed on a stock version of Ubuntu. We're not overclocked. Uh, there's nothing extra going on. This would be just if you were to uh, use the Pi 400 straight out of the box. Um, I put some video files from a previous video that I made installing Manjaro Linux on a Pi 400 on a USB stick and imported them over to the Pi 400. I installed Caden Live uh, right out of the uh, software app store and I'm going to show you guys how this works. So as you can see importing, um, actually using Caden Live um, in general I, there really wasn't any issues with so I was able to add a, a title clip I was able to import all of the files you're able to work with everything in the timeline you can splice things together you can cut um, you can add effects and everything worked fine and I guess a, a better way to describe what I meant by it doesn't work very well is more in the rendering or the time that it takes to actually uh, create that video file that you're wanting to use. It's worth mentioning that the Pi 400 doesn't have the most powerful processor, which I'm sure you guys already know, but it also is limited to four gigs of RAM, whereas if you were using a Raspberry Pi 4, you could get one with up to eight gigs of RAM, uh, which would probably work a little bit better depending on what you're working with in your video creation so I don't have all kinds of effects applied to this video I literally just took the clips that I already had uh, that are 1080p 30 frames per second I added a title clip just to show that that worked and I'm literally just throwing everything together the audio is already in the clips and then I'm going to render it and I'm just going to show you guys that this does work it just takes a really long time to do this uh, honestly you could do this faster on your cell phone so here we're just going to show you that the preview does work when we try and preview it before we actually render the file. And then we're going to go ahead and render the file. And the, the time it takes to render this is pretty long. So instead of you guys making you guys watch this, we're just going to transition to right when the video clip is done rendering. And then I'll show you exactly how long it took to render. So now let's switch over to VLC Media Player and let's see if this file that we just rendered on the Raspberry Pi 400 will actually play. And it does. It opens up with zero issues. Uh, it plays perfectly fine. The rendering was fine. There was no abnormalities in the, the file. The audio was synced up fine. Uh, there was no skipping. And I'll skip through the video here just to show you at different parts. It loads up fine and continues to play. Uh, there's no problem at all. The only issue I've had uh, thus far with Caden Live and Ubuntu on the Pi 400 with video editing is just the time that it takes to actually render the file. And Next, we're going to switch over to another video editor in Ubuntu that I also downloaded from the Software Center App Store, and it's called OpenShot. And just to spare you guys watching me do the exact same thing a uh, hundred times, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the part to right before I render the file. But before I do that, I just wanted to let you guys know that everything did work in OpenShot. I just, it, it was a little slower. So you'll see here that the video files took longer to populate when I was trying to import them. When I'm trying to work with things in the timeline, I felt like it was just a little laggier than using Caden Live. The overall rendering time for OpenShot took one hour and 11 minutes, which you'll see here. 
so it did take a little bit longer than using Caden Live, and I did feel that overall the program uh, used more system resources because it was a little laggier than using uh, Caden Live, in my opinion. Next, we're going to switch over and just take a look at the video file that OpenShot rendered just to make sure that it does play. So we're going to open that up in VLC Media Player, just like before. And I'm just going to skip through it real quick and show that it that it works, uh, which it did. Uh, there was no lag. There was no problems with the audio. Everything played fine. I was able to skip through the video and everything worked good. It just took a little bit longer than the previous program. So next we're gonna switch over to Manjaro on the Raspberry Pi 400 and we're gonna do the exact same tests. We're gonna try and render a video in Caden Live and then as well as an open shot. And rather than make you watch the exact same process all over again, we're just gonna cut right to the chase. So I was able to render a video in Caden Live uh, just fine, exactly like I was able to in Ubuntu. It actually did it a little bit quicker at 40 minutes 56 seconds as opposed to I think it was 43 minutes in Ubuntu and the video uh, file that was rendered by Caden Live played perfectly fine in VLC Media Player in Manjaro and there was no issues when I did uh, switch over to try use OpenShot which I'll I'll show you guys right here I was getting all kinds of weird issues um, in the programming at the bottom of the screen where the timeline is so you couldn't really work with the program So it technically was semi-functional, but I don't think it was um, practical or usable Especially if you're trying to use it for a business or if you wanted to use it to make YouTube videos It just it was horrible. So what I ended up doing was I just I didn't even bother trying to complete rendering with OpenShot and I downloaded a different program called Flowblade and you'll see that here. Flowblade was the absolute worst video editing program that you could use on a Raspberry Pi 400. I've personally never used it before on any platform, but on the Pi 400, it was horrible. Um, creating the timeline and getting everything up to the point of rendering the video worked fine in Flowblade. My biggest issue with it was just the time it took to render. The program estimated that it would take four hours to render, but the actual rendering was three hours. The video file that was created by Flowblade uh, worked perfectly fine. So we didn't have any problems running it in VLC Media Player. Just like all the other ones, there was no skipping and no issues there. So in conclusion, can you video edit on a Raspberry Pi 400? And the answer to that is yes, you can without a doubt. Now, should you is an entirely different question. I think that if this is your only computer, uh, then yes, it'll, it'll serve its purpose and it's gonna get you by. It's just not gonna do it in a timely manner. I think that if you have any other computer, iPad, iPhone, uh, anything else that you could video edit on is probably going to be able to get the job done a lot faster. So that about does it for this one, guys. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, hit me up in the comments and let me know what you guys want to see next. And that about does it. Peace out.